In this video, we will add the UI for ending the game and we will also add the UI for showing the player's lives because when the monsters pass through the level, uh, I would like to reduce the player's lives with one so that we have, for example, if, for example, if we have 10 lives, well, then only 10 monsters will be able to pass through the portal before we have a game over. Uh, and in this video, we are going to add that UI uh, for showing the, the game over and we're also going to add the UI for showing the player's health. And then in the next video, we will add the code for actually using the health and the game over menu. So we have to add a few things here. First of all, let's add the lives right here. I have a empty space and I would like to put the health of the uh, enemy here, or not enemy, the player here. So if we click on sprites, and go to UI, we see we have something called a health bar. So later we are going to add health bars to the enemies. Um, I'm not even sure we're going to use these sprites here. But uh, right now I would like to use the heart here for our um, our health here in the top right corner or lives. So click on the health bar and go to sprite mode and select multiple and say it's sprite editor. And then simply just slice it and then click apply. When you've done that, we can start um, adding the heart to this uh, scene, right? So if you go to canvas here, we can right click and create a new UI element called an image. And then we can select as image, we can select the heart. And actually the easiest things would be to just open the health bar here and figure out which one is the heart. This one number four is the heart here for me. So I select the image, take four and drag it all the way to the source image and then just set the native size so it has the right proportions uh, within height. And what else? Then we can take the heart and pull it to the top left corner here and then hold shift down and make sure you have selected the tool to the right and just scale it down so it has the right size. And then just put it wherever you want it here. Um, you can scale it exactly as you want it you can make it larger or bigger or something. It's you don't need to have the same scale as I do. Now I managed to move this around here. Yeah, I think I want mine. Yeah, just about there or something. Okay. So that is our heart for showing our lives. Um, we can select it and select the anchor point as the top right corner, so it has the same position no matter what uh, solution we resolution we're playing in. And uh, we will also have to add some text here. So Select the image, and let's rename it to lives. And then we can right click on it, click UI and select text and write lives text. And it needs to have some text on it. Let's just say we have 10 lives from the get go. We will change this from the code later, uh, but for now it's nice to have a, a real number just to, um, so that we can see how it uh, looks for real. Okay, so we need to select the lives text and make this box the same size at, as the heart's uh, frame here. So just scale this one so it fits with the size of the heart. Okay. When you have done that, you can select center for the text and center for the text here, right? So they're both centered. Then we have to select the font. So click the little radio button here and I'm going to go Carter one again. Um, and then I'm going to make it bold and I would say font size 30 and the color here well I'm going to go with white okay. and I would like to have an outline on so I'm going to click add a component and write outline click enter and add component again and click sh write shadow and I'm just going to go with the standard uh, settings here so if, if you couldn't see it it's just an outline component and a shadow component I added if my face is in the way here somewhere Yes. Okay. So that's basically UI for, for the health or the lives. Next up is the game over menu. The game over menu is made from the menu background here. So if you go to UI again, you'll see that menu backgrounds right here. And let's just go to the canvas, right click and select UI and image. And then rename this one to game over. And then you can take a search image. You can take the menu background and drag it right onto it and select set native size. And you can see it's way, way too large. So just hold shift down and scale it down and move it in on the screen here. I don't know how large you want it. Just 
make it exactly the size that you want. I'm gonna go with this or something. Yeah, so it covers as much as possible. Okay, so this is my game over menu size here. Okay, um, I would like the anchor points to be in the center. It's totally fine because it's just gonna stay at the center. But now we need to add some elements to this one. First of all, we need to write a headline up here. So right click, go to UI and select text. And then take this text here. You can see the text component and move it all the way up. And then just make sure that it covers the area where you want the text in. So maybe you don't want it all the way to the top. I'm going to put a little down. And then I'm going to say bold and I'm going to say, see what I've written here. I've written that it should be actually normal. And this font should be card one. And the font size should be 50. And center and center. And horizontal wrap. Truncate and best fit have written. Okay. So we select best fit so that it shows up here. And the color, well, the color is simply white. And again, we need to add something. So the outline is actually the standard. So you just write outline, click enter. And then I have a shadow. So if I write, write shadow, I'm going to move this one up so you can see it. I have the shadow up here. The distance here is going to be 4.06. Not 04, 06. And the Y distance should be minus 3.78. And just I've tested around. You can move it as exactly where you want it. It's just how I think it looks best. So that's the text, right? Now it says new text. Well, you need to write game over. So it's written game over on it. Okay. Besides that, we need a couple of buttons here. So let's just right click UI button and then we can go to our scripts uh, sprites and select UI and then see there's something called menu buttons okay. menu buttons has three buttons in it it's already um, split up if it isn't split up then select it go to sprite editor and select multiple and then click slice and then slice to slide them up slice them up okay when it is split up, as we did with all the other things, you can select one of them. Let's just take menu button zero, for example, right? Select button, take menu button zero and drag it onto the source image. And then set native size. And the text, well, we need to fix the text in a second, but let's just fix the size of the button first. The button is way too large here, so just hold shift down, drag it down, make it a little small. I think I would like it to be the same size about the same size or the same width at least as the top button here i'm always holding shift down when i scale because then it scales the width and the height in the same proportions if i don't hold shift down and I do like this then you can see i'm stretching the button right so always hold shift down i think i want to see just gonna there we go so now i think it's the same size as my game over just gonna put a little down and you, you can just make it the same the same size exactly the size you want and everything it's just my um, preference this is just what i want it doesn't mean that you want exactly the same okay um what else what else then we would like to um change the text let's just click on the text and the text on the buttons are like this they are color one and normal size 50 and best fit and minimum size is 3 maximum is 50 doesn't really matter and color is white okay and now it says button just rewrite it to restart so you can restart by clicking this okay now you can see restart the t is going a little over the edge of um, of this um and we're not interested in that we would like it to only go to here. So if you select text here and take a text and drag it so that it will not go over the edges of the green area. And you can also drag it down here so it doesn't go above or below the edges of the green area. So you can always take your text box and then minimize it so that to make sure that it doesn't go over any edges. So we also need to add an outline. I want to add an outline 
and then we're going to make a shadow as well and the shadow just needs the same values as the text up here so I can just right click and copy component and then go back to my text and right click on the shadow component you can't see this from face maybe and paste component values so now it has the right things that's my restart button so let's just rename this to restart then I can right click on it duplicate and rename the new one to quit and then go down here and take the text and rewrite it to quit and then select quit and move it down to wherever you want it okay so now we have a game over menu with a restart button and a quit button so see the restart button now color tint we can also do a sprite swap so when it's highlighted use another sprite not sure there are if you want to there are also other sprites there's one here and one there i'm not sure what big difference is yeah there's some different you you can you can select whatever you want i'm just gonna go with color tint that's easier so now when we play the game we should have this menu up and we should be able to um yeah mouse on it gets a little dark as you can see here but we don't have any functionality for these yet uh, we will add that in the next video so that we can actually restart the game and make this menu pop up whenever um, enough enemies or monsters has hit this actually let's just select the lives here because I see the lives it looks a little strange actually when the lives are here the contrast between the white and the green is not very uh, good I think so I would actually like to add just an outline and a shadow to this so select your lives and right and click add component and outline and add component shadow so let's try to play again and see yeah I think it looks better now when there's an edge around the lives here uh, but anyway you can change this exactly as you want it so that's it for this video thanks for watching and remember that to follow me on twitter like my facebook page and subscribe to the channel and also uh, if you want to you can also support me in different ways um it's very awesome when you guys support me because it makes it easier for me to keep making all these tutorials and come up with new uh, content here um for example you can support me on patreon and if you do so you will get every single project that i've ever created you can just go there and download every single uh, unity file and every single um every single asset that belongs to all those uh, projects or you can support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone product by clicking the link on the bottom of the screen here so thank you very much for watching